comes in handy when you're not a very tall person. Anyway, you're all very welcome here this morning for this lovely occasion. All our friends and benefactors and visitors, old and new, and especially we welcome Emma McLeese, who's here on behalf of her mother. This story begins in 1882 in Monaco. Prince Albert I, who was a very interesting man and an eminent oceanologist, that was a very new term at the time, he had a passion for the sea and he did a lot of oceanographical studies and discoveries, and he was a pioneer of his time. He had his own lab, and he studied the results of his various expeditions, which is how he managed to get to Valencia. He was on an expedition to Iceland, and himself and his crew on board the Irondel were marooned here for two months. Now, we don't really know where he stayed. Maybe a lot of this might come to light later, but he was here for two months. And even 130 years ago, they found their stay quite agreeable. This is what he quotes. I cannot say that time passed slowly here, because I love these wild countries. And between working, fishing, and taking photos, the days go by very quickly. And this was dated June the 11th, 1882. So there were lots to do for tourists even then. That's a long time ago. And we might be able to use that quotation as a, maybe another tourist thing later. Now this lovely montage was brought by Prince Albert II, who was, I think, the great, great grandson of Prince Albert I. And he brought it in April of this year and presented it to our beloved president, Mary McAleese, in Dublin. And she thought very generously and thoughtfully decided that Valencia would be the right place to lead it. So this is why Emma is here this morning and she's going to present it to us. And you can all look at it for yourselves. They say a picture tells a thousand words, so we'll let you all decide that when you see it. It will tell its own unique story. We put it up on the wall so that everybody can be able to get a good background, I wouldn't have heard of it. So that died by, until I got a phone call from him, from Emily's <coughs> mother some years ago that this was being presented. I said, that's amazing. And uh, here it happens to be here today because you're from Dublin. But it was mentioned in a North historical book written by us sort of in 1930, the teacher in Dingle said, and he was just wondering, there must be a record, and some of the Kelly records, <coughs> the Johnson records. So, so um, another funny point you said, they were, you're wondering what they say. It was a schooner, a schooner was a large sailing ship, so you can see the crew there. They stayed aboard, of course. Oh, did they? We were wondering what they told me. They were there. They were there. It is it is not uh, a mighty big picture, but it, it's a very interesting bit of, of history for the island as well. I, I, I don't know about the, the scene there. I thought it was pictured from the bay looking into Venetia Harbour. So is there some of your house, Michael? No, no, but the point I. The, from the bay looking in, but some people can say they can see the uh, really the baskets out there looking out from the harbour. Yeah. I cannot see I it. I think it might have been when it was developed, it looks like it might have been developed the wrong way around. Yeah, remember, yeah. this was 1882 when yeah. whatever yeah. it was. We definitely could see that with the mirror. Yeah, And this is what he said when I quoted here. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can read it for yourselves. It's in French and the translation is in English. Yeah, yeah. You could pick them out in the 
Good foot right there. Oh, I think he's, he's he saying he was this one. He said that was you, so that was yeah. 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 Mind you, he looks to be saying, I'm not saying for six months. <laughs> 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 you didn't rise it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, as somebody who just scored here in 1914, this is the very room I stand by school days here. I think this is a wonderful heritage centre, and I compliment all the people who are involved. This is a good addition to it again, a very historical factor. I, I, uh, I thank you for what you have done here for, for the island. I think it was wonderful. Yeah. It isn't just me, Murray Williams has an awful lot to do with them. There's a big, there's a big there's a lot of us that they help out, and we do the best we can, and we're, and we're delighted to do so. Oh, just that. Of course. <laughs> well, that's great. It's great really. We're very involved in this. There's a bit of uh, tea and coffee, I think, for anyone that wants to browse around and have a look yourselves. Tell all your friends. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you.